number 34 we have two experiments the first experiment uses sulfuric acid 0 0.1 mole per dmk of sulfuric acid the second experiment uses ethanoic acid 0 0.1 mole per dmq first of all we compare the concentration of H plus hydrogen ions for sulfuric acid although it's 0 0.1 mole per dmq we must re remember that sulfuric acid has two hydrogen ions that can be released so its concentration of H plus is 0 0.2 moles per dmq for ethanoic acid it is a weak acid so although the acid is 0 0.1 mole per dmq the H plus concentration is much much lesser than 0 0.1 mole per dmq the concentration of the H plus will affect the speed so if you to compare the statements after 2 minutes, sulfuric acid is higher temperature. This is correct because sulfuric acid being higher concentration in H plus will react faster and so will release more heat at a given time. After 2 minutes, it will produce more gas. That is also correct because again, like we say, it's faster. So the amount of hydrogen collected will be faster for sulfuric acid. Statement 3. How can we compare the amount of gas collected? The amount of gas is dependent on the number of moles of H+. Not the concentration, but the number of moles. So we take 0 0.1 concentration times volume in dm cube, multiply by 2 times because it's H2 SO4. So this is the number of moles of H plus ions that can be released in total. For ethanoic acid, 0 0.1 concentration multiplied by volume, this is the amount of H plus that can be used. So again, we will have more hydrogen gas produced for sulfuric acid compared to ethanoic acid. Okay. If the number of moles of H plus that can be released are the same, then we will have the same volume. But in this case, sulfuric acid has more, we will collect more gas. So statement 1, 2 and 3 are correct. 35. How are the Haber process and contact processes similar? Haber process, contact process, higher yield is favored by higher pressure. You can see that if we write out the, the reversible reactions, a high pressure will shift the equilibrium to the right side for both cases, the side where there are less moles of gases. So statement 1 is correct. Reaction is a redox process. You can see for ammonia, if we use nitrogen as to compare, nitrogen is oxidized. For contact process, sulfur is also oxidized. So re reaction is a redox process for both. The last statement is what we have to remember. Both reactions are exothermic reactions. So all are correct. What modifications will lower exhaust concentration in nitrogen oxides? The catalyst in the converter will convert your nitrogen oxides back to nitrogen gas. So if you have larger surface area, there will be more like a like uh, more chances of nitrogen oxides converting back to nitrogen gas. So statement one is correct. Two, if you increase the rate through the converter the gas moving too fast through the converter will have less chance of reacting and would then will have less chance of going back to nitrogen gas elements so increasing the rate we will actually get higher concentration of nitrogen oxides form higher temperature in the engine the high engine causes your nitrogen in and oxygen in the air to react to form nitrogen oxides so the higher the temperature, the more nitrogen oxides will be formed. So only statement 1 will cause less nitrogen oxides to be formed. Thirty-seven. Which one will cause color change? Aqueous bromine will react with this double bond and your brown color bromine solution will become colorless. 
phthalene reagent is blue solution it will oxidize your aldehyde and then we will get a brown precipitate dichromate orange color it will oxidize your aldehyde it will then become green color so all statements are correct we have esters forming which one will give us this formula of esters so I draw out the structure for comparison first one we have an acid and then alcohol we get rid of the water the esters will be this formula which is C4 H O2 doesn't tell you with what we want. We want O4 and H6. So statement one is wrong. Number two, we have an acid, and this alcohol is a diol. So there are two sites that can react to form esters. If we line them up, okay. I put the acids on either end, and then we do our esterification. eliminate H2O in between and then we check our formula we have C4 H1 2 5 6 and 2 oxygen so statement 2 is correct the combinations must be statement 3 must be correct still all right but we have to check again we have this di acid I put in the middle two alcohols put the side because each acid group can react with one alcohol group so we do our elimination again okay. and you can check that it's also C4 H6O2 so statement 2 and 3 are correct Number 39, we have these products, 74 grams, 62% yield is achieved. So what I do is change these 74 grams into number of moles. All of them have MR of 74, so I'll start off with one mole each. I'll use the 62% to mean that out of the one mole of the reactants, only 0.62 most of the reactants have successfully converted into products in other words we will get 0.62 moles of products on the other side how can we find the mass of products well just take 0.62 multiply by the respective mr of your products 72 88 and 88 okay, you will see that they will give us these three masses meaning all three are correct. Number 40, we have a reaction pathway. There are two humps, it means that it's a two-step reaction. Most likely, it means that it is a tertiary halogen alkene because they undergo SN1 reaction so we have to check which of the statements at the back are tertiary halogen alkene first one tertiary second one is primary the last one is also primary so only the first halogen alkene will undergo this two-step reaction okay the intermediate will be what I have drawn here okay, intermediate can be found at this point in the valley for statements 2 and 3 the pathway will be looking like this a single hump showing an SN2 reaction 